Good morning, welcome back. We're back in the studio, uh, hanging out with Jen Fanning, the Executive Director of Grand County Rural Health. And uh, before we get to her, a big thanks to YMCA, the Rocky Snow Mountain Ranch. They have their uh, family day coming up on Sunday, August 13th. Uh, it's a free admission for all locals. Get out there, see what's going on at the YMCA, the Rockies. A lot of natural beauty and tons of activity, including their summer tubing hill, uh, snowmountainranch.org. All right, Jen, we are talking Grand County Rural Health, healthcare, health, everything mm -hmm. is very vital to us up here in the mountains. Uh, a great majority of us have a very active lifestyle. We want to keep it that way. And then uh, obviously on the national level, healthcare is a huge topic. So what is Grand County Rural Health? Absolutely. So we're a local nonprofit. Um, we've been in creation about 15 years, and our whole premise is that we are a coalition of healthcare providers and human service organizations, those support organizations that get together to improve access to care, basically access to healthcare. Living here in Grand County makes it so that it's more difficult for us to access care anyways, just because of where we live. What are some of the challenges that we have by being in the mountains? Transportation is the number Huge. one <laughs> issue for most people. Um, you know, anybody who's sought um, specialty care, some of it's available, some of it's not, and that's just because we have a smaller population overall. Um, and, and rural doesn't just apply to the farm kids out in the middle of nowhere, like we are a rural county, is that correct? We are a rural county, yeah, and absolutely, and we're act technically a healthcare provider shortage area, which means we have a smaller percentage of primary care providers to um, to the, the population, including the population that swells up for um, you know second homeowners and seasonal What residents. would you say our core population of the county is? Uh, the estimates are anywhere between 14 to 15,000. Okay, so the entire county. The that whole county. That includes Kremlin, that includes, I mean, everything Which in the is county. the size of Rhode Island. Yeah. The, and 75%, I think, 75 to 80% is um, natural land, open land. So it's, uh, transportation's a big issue yeah, for everybody, right? right? And population density, I'm sure, right? It's tough to be a healthcare provider in town as well because you need to have the traffic, and so that makes challenges from both ends. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. And so that's what we do is we get um, organizations together to really look at the long-term solutions, what's out there that we can really be um, patient-focused. And our whole goal is to elevate the health of the most unhealthy the least healthy of us, because by doing that, we then spend less resources on those people, which is a win-win for everybody, which makes it so everybody has better care, better access to care, better support services to get them that care. So that's kind of what we're looking at, is working together, how do we make changes, not just in one provider, one, one nonprofit or support service, but the whole system, how do we do that? to make it better for everyone. And I know there's a lot of different levels here, but what's, uh, are you working with the people individually? Are you working with their providers to try and, you know, how do you access these people yes. who are unhealthy? <laughs> yeah, right? We, yeah. we do both. Um, we work with providers. We ha run a healthcare professional society with all healthcare providers in the community. We run a health and human resources coalition with kind of those support services, the school districts, nonprofits, um, government agencies, social services, public health, really looking at the support piece. And then periodically every year to two or three years, we really touch base with the community doing a survey or an assessment to find out really what's in the way of keeping you healthy and what kind of solutions do you have. To, it's not to just bumps and booze, right? There's right. a few more factors. Locally. There's way more factors, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys have a big fundraiser coming up later. Um, fundraising is obviously a big part of it. We're going to talk about that later in the show, but I do want to just mention in each spot a big throw out to the, what's the big fundraiser coming up? Just Bulls. to make sure anyone looking to support you guys. Absolutely, Bulls Boots and Barbecue. It's on Thursday, August 17th at 6 p.m. at um, be Lazy 2. All right, we'll talk about that in more detail, what that entails. Just want to make sure everyone's aware mm -hmm. that our fundraiser is coming up. Uh, very soon that, uh, to look out for. So once again, we're hanging out with Jen Fanning of Grand County Rural Health. And can you give me the website? Absolutely. It's gcruralhealth.com. All right. Check them out. And we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue talking more about uh, health care and what's going on coming up. So thanks again.